Hello, I'm the Budget Modeler and welcome to episode 9 of my Space 1999 Eagle One Transporter build. As you can see, I've gone a little festive. Well, we are halfway through December and it's very nearly Christmas. Anyway, today I'm going to start by cleaning up the landing gear retro rocket modules. So, let's crack on with a speedy uppy thing. And now, back to my normal camera settings. Sorry for the delay. Now, let's put them on their crop clips and they're ready for priming. And there we go, all nicely primed. We'll leave those to one side and let them dry, ready for a zenithal highlighting. And you even get a quick show and tell. I'm getting good at this. Now it's time for the retro rocket motors. Let's begin by taking them off the sprue. Next I'm going to clean them up with my homemade sanding sticks. Now they're cleaned up, it's time to drill out the motor nozzles. To do this, I first used a knife to mark the centre to give me a rough idea where I wanted to drill. Then I got a 0.6mm drill bit and drilled an initial hole. In between I did the Zenithal highlight on the modules. Here's a quick show and tell on one. Then I used a 1mm drill bit to finish it all off. I then repeated this for the other three. I'm going to add a warning here. Please be careful when doing this hobby as things like this happen all too regularly. Drill that finger! That's the nozzles drilled out and the retros are now ready for a prime. Rather than use my crop clips, I'll be using blue tack and a coffee stirrer. So, here we go. Oops, I nearly forgot. Here's a quick show and tell. Now I'm just opening up the gap a little to allow a coffee stir to be put in and used for priming the part. And there you go, off to priming you go. One quick priming, then it's done. Now to go back over the circular pods for the rocket motor section. 
just to make sure the soldering wire is taken and just a general check over before we get into it. Wiggly this one. Uh, no, wiggly this one too. Glue another one. And another. Oh, fifty percent failure. Ouch. Oh, good lord, another gone. Oh, well. When I put these back together, I made sure that the soldering wire went in as far as it could go. There's another trick I've learnt. I have to say, I've learnt a lot of tricks doing this build. There we go, all glued and solid. Now it's time to get them fixed up. I'm using 3mm hollow styrene rod, which I will cut to length and also angle it to allow it to join the back plate and the rocket chamber. So, let's crack on with the speedy uppy thing again. But first, let's glue back in things I've knocked off. I'm really good at that. Exceptional. Right, that's glued back. I'm not going to do the circular pods, I'm going to do the straight fuel rods on here. So, let's do those, then I'll come back to those. You may have noticed I jump around a bit. That's because I try to make sure my videos follow the way I've made the model as close as possible. So what you folks see on the video is basically how the model was made. Here, I'm just working out the position of these little chambers on the rocket module. Now it's time to do those circular chambers. So, without further ado, let's crack on with this speedy uppy thing. Here I used a mitre block to get the rod square and to cut the 45 degree angle. And here is what the first one looks like. 
I remember the show and tell. Anyway, I won't bore you with having to sit through me building the other three, so we'll hop on ahead. Where will it take us? Who knows? It takes us to a show and tell of our rocket motors after a zenithal highlight. I do like them. The modules that the retros sit on. And there we have all four finished and ready to be glued on. I'm getting good at this show and tell malarkey. Watch me go and blow it. What I'm doing here is marking on the rocket chambers exactly where the cabling goes for it. This is where the support that we made in the last episode will go, two on each chamber. So let's crack on and get this cabling all sorted out. Twang! There goes another one. I suppose I better re-glue this one as well. Okay, that's done. Now to crack on with the cabling holes. I do this in the usual way. Make a mark with a knife and drill the hole. But make sure you don't go straight through. Luckily, I didn't. That's all the holes drilled and I'm just testing at the moment to make sure the soldering wire goes in a good depth. Now to get the supports out. I'm going to be sticking these down first, then laying the soldering wire on top and gluing that down with super glue. So let's crack on with a speedy uppy thing. That's looking good to me, and to be perfectly honest, this is as good a place as any to end this episode. So remember, if you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel. Help it grow, get the message out there to as many models as possible. Like the video and ring my bell. Remember, stay safe, keep modelling.